everyone, my name is Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm very excited, we will be talking about my TBR for the Reindeer Readathon. Before I jump into that, I did want to be out here where all of the festive decor is, but the lighting's not great, so hopefully that's okay with you. <laughs> I fished out my Christmas sweater and my big ass bow for this occasion. So the Reindeer Readathon, I believe, was created by Eric from Break Even Books, and it is a group, like team readathon that runs through the entire month of December. So when I signed up, I was assigned to Team Nutcracker, which was the one that I was hoping to get on just because Nutcracker, like the soundtrack of Nutcracker is some of my favorite Christmas music and I was in the ballet when I was little and it's just a good time. So as you will see on this TBR, I am very much diving headfirst into the Christmas genre. I am reading all things Christmassy, Christmas romance, all that kind of stuff. I asked for suggestions on Twitter and I got some recommendations there and then I also just found some by like perusing the Libby app and things like that. So this TBR is very much leaning towards the Christmas romance genre, which I am very excited about. Without further ado, let's talk about the prompts. So the first prompt is Dasher, and this is a short story collection or a novella. And for this, I plan on listening to Wrapped Up In You by Talia Hibbert. I believe this is a novella, and I have no idea what it's about, but it looks festive. Next is Dancer, and that is a book by one of your favorite authors. For this, I am planning on reading The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. I have read three of Riley Sager's books, and I have enjoyed all of them. Final Girls especially, I think is like one of my favorite books of all time. And this is just another one of his that I haven't read yet, but I own. Why didn't I bring it out here? Be right back. Okay. The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. So all I know about this is it follows our main character, Emma, who, I mean, first of all, great name, but she had like a weird experience at a summer camp as a kid. And then for some reason she like goes back there as an adult and is like revisiting all these memories from her past and like piecing together something. That's my generic vague notion of what this book is about but honestly i don't really care what it's about it's a thriller it's by riley sager i'm sure i'm gonna love it so yeah so next is prancer a book with a travel element in it and for this i will be reading or listening to not sure yet a christmas carol by charles dickens i believe i've listened to this a couple years ago but it's been a few years and it's always just such a festive time so excited for this. I think everyone knows what A Christmas Carol is about. Next is Vixen, and this is a book that has recently caught your eye. And for this, I will be reading The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. This is one that someone on Twitter had recommended to me, and it also caught my eye like a week before I asked for recommendations, because the cover is just really cute. And I have no idea what this is about, if you're newish to my channel, you will soon learn that I rarely know plot details for the books that I read. I like to go in kind of not knowing much, so I don't know, but it seems like a cute festive time. All right, next we have Comet, and that is a five-star prediction. And for this, I am very excited. I will be reading Small Favors by Aaron A. Craig, I believe 2019 is when House of Salt and Sorrows came out by Erin A. Craig, and that was a standalone retelling of The Twelve Dancing Princesses, which is already one of my favorite fairy tales, and it was like dark and spooky and just the atmosphere and like everything about it. I just loved it. Definitely one of my top reads of 2019, and I have been really, really excited for her new release. So this book has been blurbed as like a Rumpelstilts, well it is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling, but mixed with Needful Things by Stephen King. And Needful Things is definitely 
maybe my favorite Stephen King that I've read, but like the basic premise of it is like these people in this town are kind of getting whatever they want and wish for and then it backfires. So it's like, it's not always a good thing to get what you want, basically. And obviously that ties really well into like the Rumpelstiltskin story as well. And we follow Ellery Downing who lives in this town called Amity Falls and these creatures are like coming into the town and they are offering to fulfill people's deepest wishes and obviously that's backfiring that's all i know but i oh, i'm so excited i think i might do a reading vlog just for this book because this is definitely probably my most anticipated read of 2021 so yeah so next is cupid and that is take a shot at reading a new author and almost all of these Christmas books that I'm hoping to read in December are new authors to me. So for this one, I just put One Day in December by Josie Silver. I have heard very mixed things about this, but I'm excited nonetheless. I believe it takes place in London and it follows Lori who sees this guy on the train and falls in love with him basically, but she never gets a chance to approach him and then he's gone and she can't find him anywhere. And then some time goes by and then he shows up at a Christmas party thing. So I'm intrigued, but I do have some backup Christmas books that I will quickly mention after my TBR in case I end up DNFing any of these random Christmas books because Definitely don't want to push myself to finish a book that I'm not enjoying. Okay, next is Donner, and that is a book with green or red as the primary color on the cover. And for this one, I am planning on listening to In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I think this one has very mixed reviews as well. <laughs> I read The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren in 2019, I think. And I didn't love it, it was just okay. So I've never really felt the need to like go out and seek other books by them. But this one, the cover, you know, I keep seeing it around and I'm like, if I'm gonna read another Christina Lauren, I might as well read this one. In Christmas time, I have no idea what it's about. Haven't necessarily heard amazing things, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a listen anyway. All right, so Blitzen is choose at least three books and have one randomly chosen. So I did this, I will insert the clip here. All right, hello. So I, there's the lighting. I have written three books on these pieces of paper and Cindy just woke up from an epic nap. So I'm gonna have her choose for me. I think I'm just gonna like put them in front of her and see what ones she seems to sort of look at or like sniff first or something like that, so. It's gonna be very scientific and very official. Here we go. Ooh. The middle one. Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Thank you for the assistance. My other two choices were Emma by Jane Austen or Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. So Cindy definitely went for the less classic literary option. But yeah, Midnight Sun it is. Okay, back to TBR Emma. So as you can see, Cindy chose <laughs> Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I have been meaning to read this f since it came out. I really enjoyed Twilight back in the day. I was never like a Twi hard, but I did enjoy them and I have been re-watching the movies with one of my friends and I'm just in my Twilight feels. So yeah, excited for this. This is really big, uh, over 600 pages, but uh, I'm just, I am in the mood. I'm in the mood. And so December's when this is gonna happen. If you don't know, this is Twilight retold from Edward's perspective. And as far as I can tell, a lot of Twilight fans have really enjoyed this. So 
it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time regardless, honestly, of like how high a rating I give it because I am just, I am in the twilight mood. So thanks, Cindy. Next is Rudolph read a standalone book. And for this, I checked out from the library one that was also recommended to me on Twitter, which is Winter Solstice by Ellen Hillenbrand. I have no idea what this is about. I've never heard of this author. I believe it's part of like a companion series, but we're just going for it. It's short, it's gonna be a quick read. <laughs> this TBR is very much books that I really don't know that much about or haven't heard that great of things about. So it, it's gonna be an interesting reading month. So there are some bonus points that you can get and hopefully if I do finish these three that I'm counting towards those, then I'll get those bonus points. But the first one is Christmas Star, which is to read a book over 500 pages. And Midnight Sun is over 500 pages. The second one is Christmas Lights, read an ebook. And I read a lot of ebooks, so I think probably at least half the books that I'm planning on reading, I will be reading in ebook format. And then the third one is Christmas Carols, an audiobook. And I will be listening to A Christmas Carol specifically on audiobook, but I'm sure I will audiobook like Wrapped Up in You is also an audiobook. So there's there's a lot to choose from and I'll just plug one in there. So I did want to quickly say that my backup books, in case I end up DNFing any of these, are Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which I'm borrowing from my friend tomorrow. I also am borrowing We Met in December from that same friend tomorrow. <laughs> and then uh, Christmas Shopaholic. So yeah again don't really know much about either three of these i haven't looked up reviews or anything but they have just been books that have been on my radar for a while that i'm always like oh that's when i could read at christmas and you know what this year is the year that i'm reading those kind of books in december so yeah those are my backups <laughs> you know this has been a rough year and i am just ready to dive headfirst into the christmas vibes the romance book vibes, the new Erin A. Craig book, Midnight Sun, like it's gonna be a good time. So that is it for my TBR. Again, all of the info for this readathon will be linked down below. With that being said, I hope all of you have an amazing December and a really great holiday season, however you celebrate it. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a Christmas tree emoji in the comments. Also, let me know your thoughts on any of these books. If you've read them down below, if there's, you know, one that you've read that you were like, I absolutely hated this. I might, you know, grab one of my like extra Christmas books and move it up into the TBR, if that makes sense. So anyway, see you later.